Moving on, we have the top clause, which is used to specify the number of records to return. So far, we know how to not only return all our records, but if we choose to only return specific columns, we know how to do that by indicating the, the name of that column. What if we want to return a specific number of of records, how do we do that? And, and the answer to that is by using the top clause. Let's print out our books table, but first I will just make a comment and I'll call this the top clause. So let's print out our table. Books. So right now we have our books table. And as I mentioned earlier on, we can always specify to choose specific columns rather than selecting all of our table or all of the columns within our table. But what if we want specific or a specific number of records? So we have um, Brian Stevenson is one record, Elizabeth Gilbert is two records, Grant Cadorn is three records. Um, it's the third record. So what if we only want to select specific number of records? And one of the times in which we do this now, when you work on a large database, like I, I did mention in some videos back, the rule of thumb is that you only want to print out the records that you need just to just for efficient for the purpose of efficiency. But also, if this is a new table that you're not familiar with, you might want to just display the first record just so you get a feel of what the content of that table is. So how do you do that? And the way to do that is by using the top class. All we need to do is we have our select keyword and next to select our, we just type top and let's say we want just the first record of our table one so to indicate the, the first record then star from books so what this is saying is that we are selecting the first record the top one from you know of all and want all our records we can always select specific um, columns but for now we just want we want all the all the columns all our record no well all the columns but we want the first record the first record from our table from our books table when we run this this gives us the first record which is Brian Stevenson just mercy released year 2014 um, you know, memoir 368, available copies 80, reviews for 4,866, and the gender is male. So by looking at our first record, it, it gives us a, a, a feel and understanding, at least have an idea of what the content, even though yes, the column um, tells you by the, the, the name of the column sort of indicates what the content is, but you still want to have a, you know, see what that, you know, the content of that table looks like. So this is how we can print out the, the first record. And if we want to, let's say we want to print out the, um, the first three record, set up three from books and that prints that out what if we I'm just gonna bring those down let's say we want only the top five records of our author's last name so select we want the top five records and what we want is we want the author's last name we also want the title and what else let's say we want to see the gender gender from books okay so when we run this it gives us the the top five and of course we can combine our select the our top clause with ordering our result set. And let's say we let's select the top three and we want our author's first name. We want the author's last name. 
we want to see how many books are available copies let's print out the title as well title and we have that from books and then we want to order by available copies and we want to we want it ascending because we want to see the list available copies right sell available copies so when we run this so this is telling us that the three list available copies well peter mcbride has no no books uh, or no book currently within our, our data or table but we know that katrin johnson and and Carlos Zephon as the least available copies. If we want to see the authors that has the most available copies, we just need to, let's copy that. And then we just do descending. When we, so Jeffrey Warren has 430 books or copies available. And we can do the same thing with reviews. Let's say we want to see, uh, select, top five it's a top five and we want title and we want reviews from books and we can order by reviews and we order the sending and this give us the highest review essentially this would give us the top five highest reviewed books so we have game of thrones Game of Thrones, Bond of Crime, Jurassic Park, Popeye Beast Curse, and Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics.